How do most people handle these crucial confrontations? We found the vast majority go silent. They say nothing. They see a gap between what they expected, what they're getting, and they go silent. Now, there's a price we pay when we go silent in a crucial conversation. And I'd like to give you a metaphor, a way of thinking about it. Picture an afternoon. Hmm, I need a snack. Go to the refrigerator, open it up. Cottage cheese, that's a healthy alternative. Pop it open. Oh, oh, it's gone rancid. Oh, it smells horrible. And what are those little green specks? Gee, maybe if I sit it here on the counter in the sunlight for a few days, it'll get better. That's called cottage cheese on the counter. And let me tell you, it doesn't get better. It gets worse. Cottage cheese on the counter. That's the metaphor I want you to keep in mind when you consider what will happen if I don't confront this gap between what I expected and what I got. What will I get if I procrastinate this difficult performance conversation? What will happen if I let a problem go unaddressed? Well, I'll tell you, it doesn't get better. It gets worse. Cottage cheese on the counter. We were doing a study in healthcare, and we found that there was a patient who was checked in at a hospital for a tonsillectomy. They put her under and then amputated three quarters of her right foot. When she woke up, found out what had happened, she was hysterical. It was a horrific mistake. Administrators immediately launched an investigation. How could this possibly have happened? Well, one thing they found is they interviewed every single person who had anything to do with her care, ranging from the admittance clerk all the way through to the nurse in the recovery room. You know what they found? No fewer than seven people. Seven people who had something to do with her care recognized something's wrong here, something's amiss, and not one of them said anything, including the medical technician who stocked the tray for the surgery. And he goes down the list and he goes, Bone saw? Why do they need a bone saw for a tonsillectomy? Oh well, not my call. Puts a bone saw on the tray. Seven people, if one of them had spoken up, may have prevented this tragedy. Well, as we began working at that hospital, collecting data, trying to understand the culture, you know what we found? They had created here a culture of silence. Now, if you walk down the halls, you'll see people talking and chattering, interacting. It doesn't look any different than any other hospital. But as soon as a gap appears, a significant gap between what's expected and what's delivered, they had learned to go silent. We interviewed groups of employees. A question we asked is, um, what does it take to get along a around here? What does it take to get ahead? What does it take to do well? Over 90% of respondents said... Never question a doctor. That's what it takes to do well around here. Never question a doctor. In fact, almost everyone we interviewed could name someone who had been fired for challenging a doctor. Many of them had broadened that assumption from physicians to management. Said, never question your boss. Do what you're told. Don't rock the boat. The key to getting along around here is go silent when it becomes crucial. They had created a culture of silence. Could you have a culture of silence in a large organization, Fortune 500 company? Yes. Could you have a culture of silence in a division? Yes. A department? How about a work team? How about in a critical relationship? How about in a family? We found you can. And when you postpone having a crucial confrontation that's needed, when you procrastinate, when you decide not to have it, when you go silent, it's cottage cheese on the counter. It's going to get worse, not better. 